I'm sure you've had the title on this one. This is freaking hilarious. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, let's jump into this hilarious madness, shall we, because reports have been coming through the last couple of days that our Megzi wants to hire a PR firm in the UK to improve her standing with us, to improve her popularity with us in this country. Yeah, good luck with that. And yes, commentator, news presenter Mark Dolan is pretty much saying the same thing, but to freaking hilarious effect. This is not clickbait, guys. Mark Dolan's effectively turned around, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, and said, um, yeah, Hamas would be a better client for a UK PR agency than you, Megzi. Let's listen to this. As you can appreciate, due to copyright, I will have to stop and start for fair use purposes, for commentary, but here we go. In this increasingly tumultuous world with wars and economic crises aplenty, it's always nice to have a good laugh. Which takes me to the Duchess of Sussex, Megzi. <laughs> like, he starts with a zinger straight away, guys. With all the strife and all the nasty evil that's going on in the world at the moment, it's always good to have a good laugh. Enter Exhibit A, our Megzi. <laughs> oh, here we go. He goes in. Meghan Markle, who we are told is gearing up for a complete image overhaul here in the UK. Good luck with that. I echo those sentiments entirely. I'm sure you guys do as well. Apparently, this acting icon and front runner for world's greatest humanitarian is now looking for a new PR expert in Britain. That's a tough gig, isn't it? Meghan Markle's publicist. That would make a couple of weeks fighting the war in Ukraine feel positively relaxing by comparison. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. But the thing is, Mark is right because reports have been coming through and I actually reported on it on the last update in the whole Netflix saga with Hazard and Megzi. The insiders from Netflix are actually coming out of the woodwork now saying that, you know, Megzi and Hazard are really, really, really difficult to work with. They don't listen to anyone's advice. It's either their way or the highway. So, yeah, the PR expert for the UK, for Megzi, it would be a tough gig actually to do because uh, chances of Megzi listening to the PR UK expert is pretty much slim to none if you actually believe the reports. Anywho, let's get back to this marvellous piece here. The Mail newspaper report that Markle is seeking professional help to improve her brand. I think she should just seek professional help. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> After a turbulent 2023, which saw the couple lose their lucrative podcast deal with Spotify, and with the fallout from Prince Harry's book Spare seeing further reputational damage to both of them on both sides of the Atlantic, this couple, in my view, are toxic, and any efforts to improve their public image are doomed to fail. And yes, they are toxic. Again, I've reported on this channel that a lot of Hollywood A-listers are actually distancing themselves reportedly from the gruesome twosome because it's fruit of the poisonous tree. If they're associated with a gruesome twosome, they're going to get the bad publicity as well that comes with Hazard and Megsy. On top of that, a lot of the Hollywood A-listers don't want to associate themselves with Hazard and Megsy because they want to be on the good side and the good graces of Prince William and Princess Catherine. They know where their bread is buttered, uh, to be fair. Uh, but let's we're going to get on to this comment in a moment. It is coming up, guys. The damage, off the back of which they made millions, is now done. They are the laughing stock of comedy shows like South Park, and even woke liberal talk show hosts in America like Jimmy Kimmel are making ruthless gags at their expense. And we are all hoping, particularly with South Park, that there is a part two to the worldwide privacy tour. There just has to be. It was just amazing last year. 
The Mail newspaper go on to say that many PR people are apprehensive about taking the Sussexes on. Pfft, no shit, Sherlock. I would humbly suggest that Hamas would be a more accommodating client than these self-absorbed narcissists. There you have it. There you have it. Hamas would be a more accommodating client than these self-absorbed narcissists. Hamas would be a better client than freaking Meghan Markle. That is unbelievable um now we also have nana akua if i've mispronounced that i do apologize again i'm really bad at pronunciations um saying and she's right it was heartless to go on oprah and diss the royal family while prince philip lay dying it was heartless to leave the door open to an accusation of racism then correct the record years later making the last of the queen's last years a nightmare so any hopes of Megzi trying to improve her standing with the British people is impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Now, you know, they're saying potentially that an apology would help, but it's not going to fix things. She is still, as far as I'm concerned, going to be widely disliked in the UK. And as Mark Nolan has said, and I agree, <laughs> Hamas would be a more accommodating client than freaking Megzi at this point. Now, here we've got Cameron Walker, and I have quoted him before. Uh, again, another respected royal commentator. And this is what he had to say in terms of assessing Megzi's chances of improving her popularity here in the UK. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so this is an exclusive in the mail this morning. It's not been confirmed by Meghan and Harry's team. But if true, it does fit with this narrative that we've seen over the last few weeks, haven't we, of first the rebrand of their Sussex.com website. Then, of course, we had Prince Harry and Meghan uh, doing some philanthropic work in the mountains in Canada for... So, yeah, he's saying it does track if this is true because they have been in a state of rebranding with the absolutely insanely, like, stupid move of the Sussex.com website that I reported on a couple of weeks ago. Then their philanthropic efforts that they've been ramping up and the South by Southwest uh, keynote uh, session that just happened last week. We've been seeing a lot more of them in the press. And yeah, it seems like it's all fitting is what Cameron Walker's saying here. For well, the Invictus Games. And at the same time, we've got their opinion polls on both sides of the Atlantic. Let's be frank, not very good. Meghan is only one above Prince Andrew in terms of members of the royal family popularity ratings. Now, uh, at one point, Megzi was actually less popular than Prince Andrew. So she's climbed up a little bit. Let's give her that. But, yeah, to be one point above Prince Andrew, not good, not good. According to the latest YouGov poll, so she does have an image problem here in the United Kingdom. I don't think the British public cared too much for uh, Meghan and indeed Harry. Correct. Uh, complaining about their time as working members of the royal family. So it looks like that Meghan is wanting to really uh, cre create a better image for herself here in the United Kingdom. At the same time that the King's obviously been diagnosed with cancer, Kate's out of action, William is clearly uh, not doing as many public engagements for reasons I've just discussed. So it's like the timing is totally sus as well for Megzi to be doing all of this at a time when, you know, a lot of the high ranking levels uh, members of the royal family are, are out of commission at the moment. You know, Princess Catherine, King Charles, Prince William, to a certain extent, Queen Camilla as well. It's like, Megs is like, now it's my time to pounce and to go on the attack kind of thing and try and improve my popularity without these people getting in the way. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for those pesky kids, if anyone gets that reference, major nerd points to you. Anywho. And the rest of the working royals are ageing, and it's thought, according to a source speaking to the, ma the Mail, that Harry and Meghan could fill that void of public-facing royal engagements here in the UK. But does I would disagree with that because no one will allow that. The public will not accept them back into that space, that empty space, that void. No way, no way. As I said, nothing's been confirmed, so we'll have to wait and see, and indeed, if it does uh, improve their image. So this is the thing, right? 
Megzi is doing all of this because she's absolutely terrified that the brand, her Sussex brand, will suffer if she can't patch things up with the royal family. Um, and she's currently exploring a rebrand after previous co career opportunities didn't work out the way in which she hoped, i.e. Spotify, the n pretty much doomed at this point Netflix, um, all the uh, productions that have been cancelled, i.e. Pearl, the productions that just haven't even lifted off the ground, uh, such as the Meet Me at the Lake uh, movie series that they've got the rights to. Uh, speaking to The Mirror, royal author and expert Tom Quinn said that Meghan doesn't want to go back to acting, but she's terrified that if things are not patched up with the royal family, then Harry will cease to be a brand asset and brand Sussex will suffer. Uh, with this being said, Mr. Quinn added that Megzi has been putting out feelers now that both King Charles and Kate, the Princess of Wales, are ill. So again, all these reports of Megzi trying to get a UK PR expert to improve her standing over here is not a coincidence of timing when you take into account that King Charles, Princess Catherine... Prince William, to a certain extent, and Queen Camilla are all out of action, are all out of commission at the moment. Yeah. But as Mark Nolan eloquently put it, yeah, I don't think any UK PR agency is going to touch her with a barge pole uh, because, yeah, Hamas would be a more accommodating client than Megzi and Hazza. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow, Mark Dolan for the win there. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi trying to apparently make it back to the UK and be popular again, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.